I definitely did not go into the grocery store feeling that I was gonna spend over $300, but that's exactly what happened this week. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and every single Saturday I share my grocery haul for my family of six along with the meal plan. And this week I randomly went to Trader Joe's. I went to an appointment with my mom. Trader Joe's was right there. We went in. I did not have a meal plan. I bought a bunch of stuff and then I came home and made the meal plan and went back out to HEB and that's where $300 comes in. <laughs> like oh my goodness so now not only do I have a fully stocked kitchen um, I need to organize it all because it's a mess but you guys are here just to see the grocery haul and the meal plan so let's get into Trader Joe's first then we'll go right into HEB and then the meal plan okay so here is the overview of a little over a hundred and sixty dollars at trader joe's so i'll start over here with the produce i got my favorite i say this every time i pick up any kind of kale salad now this says slaw but any kind of kale mixture with the yummy like sweet and creamy slaw dressing it is absolutely my favorite so of course i had to get that this is super small this bag from trader joe's so this would not feed my family of six this is something that i make for for myself for lunch so that's definitely gonna be super delicious this weekend I got a bag of shredded carrots also got two bags of the shredded green cabbage I am going to make Kristen over at Texas backyard barbecue she recently shared a yummy coleslaw recipe so I'll have that channel linked down below if you guys want to check it out semi new only a few videos but all of them look delicious so I want to make her recipe not produce but I got some flowers I feel like I typically get flowers every time I could go to Trader Joe's now this is only $9.99 and that is much more at HEB if I were to get flowers somewhere else so I love the prices that Trader Joe's has on their flowers I got some Driscoll's raspberries my daughter Pearl and Paige have been loving raspberries lately so I went ahead and got a bigger package also strawberries we all love the strawberries so I got the Driscoll's strawberries bag of limes bag of lemons for waters and some recipes romaine hearts there's three in this bag two english cucumbers okay you guys i'm gonna give this a try i've tried it before have not been a fan but all i didn't cook it like on the skillet i can't remember how i cooked it but a lot of people have been sharing some really good recipes lately with rice cauliflower so I'm gonna give this a try. So I picked that up. I saw that they had the rice broccoli also, but I shied away from that this time. But let me know if you guys like that, if you have any really good recipes down in the comments. I got a package of bell peppers. I need the red and the orange for a recipe. So I just went ahead and got the pack because this will be really yummy and something else that I got down there. So I went ahead and got the pack of the red, yellow, and orange. Some russet potatoes, avocados. These looked good. I don't think I've ever picked these up from Trader Joe's. They are the Cara Cara or Cara Cara navel oranges. It says I'm an orange, but I'm pink. So on the little sign that they had, it said it was very citrusy and sweet. So I'm excited to try that. Everybody and their mama has been raving about this pancake bread and my mother, speaking of mamas, actually went to Trader Joe's a week or two ago and she picked up just a couple items for me, this being one of them, and my kids loved it. So I knew I needed to get another one for them. So I went ahead and got that before it is no longer available and that is the pancake bread, you guys. This seriously is. It says sweet moist loaf, really, really moist, really good. Got some plain bagels, all the kiddos love that. All right, this is a must. I only got one bag. I think the last time I went, I got the white cheddar and this one sour cream and onion. Just got this one this time. But if all of us sit down and watch a movie, this entire bag will be gone. Like it's seriously so good. There's no stopping once you eat one of those. This is something new that I have not picked up before. The coconut strips, they're lightly sweetened. I thought this would be a good way to keep my sweet tooth under control. Sometimes after dinner, if uh, my, Mark, my husband and I stay up late and watch a movie or a TV show, that's when my sweet tooth kicks in. So I thought maybe having 
like two to four of these little strips would help that we shall see got some yogurts so i have purchased this one before the vanilla greek loaf low fat yogurt with fudge pretzel topping it's pretty good then i saw these and typically i have been obsessed with the yogurts with a crunch added in but i do have some granola and you know i bought the strawberries i think i'm gonna get blueberries when i go to heb but these just sounded good. So this one is almond butter coconut. What? Sounds good. This one is pomegranate. And then this one is coconut cream. So I thought these sounded really good. I have never tried these before, so I am excited for that. All right, this was a request from my oldest daughter, Paige. She asked me to get some Ezekiel bread. So I went ahead and picked this up. I don't think I've ever tried this. No idea. Um, but I'm excited about it looks really good so lots of people rave about it so we are going to give that a try all right this non bread i got instead of pita bread for these euros so each box i got two boxes and each one has enough for two i thought this would be a fun fun <laughs> uh fast lunch for my husband and i during the week while the kiddos are at school so i got two packages so we can each have two this is what i'm going to use the yellow pepper in as well and then this only has four in here, so we'll each get two. I feel like that might be too much for lunch, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just have one for lunch two days in a row. I don't know yet, but this makes four sandwiches regardless. Got some butter. I need this for a few recipes. Got this lemon basil pasta salad. This is my oldest daughter Paige's, one of her favorites from Trader Joe's, so I've been picking this up every time I go. Cottage cheese. My mother actually picked me up some pears when she went, so I didn't need to get those, but I do need some more cottage cheese, so I got that some roasted and salted whole cashews. I need that for recipe and for snacking on. And then also for snacking on, my kids love the in shell peanuts. So I got a small bag of that for them. This is something new I am excited to try because I love the everything seasoning. So these are bite size everything crackers. I'm excited to give those a try. Those look really yummy, especially with some cottage cheese. I think that will be good. Something else new that I picked up that I am going to try is this vanilla almond spiced chai. There we go. It's a protein smoothie with chai tea, almond, coconut cream, and an exotic spice blend. That just sounds really good. So got that. Then let's see, we're gonna come back down here before we get into all the frozen stuff. This looks really good. I think I'm gonna have this for lunch tomorrow. It is an organic hearty minestrone soup. It's got fresh vegetables, cannellini beans, rice and quinoa, orzo pasta, and then a savory vegetable broth and kale. That just looks really good. I love minestrone soup, so I'm excited to give that a try. This is the um, tzatziki. I think that's how you say that. It's a creamy garlic cucumber dip. That is for the euros and also any of the extra peppers for dipping it in and the cucumbers. That's going to be delicious. Got some buttermilk biscuits. I'm going to try a recipe out in my Ninja Foodie. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then we've got some frozen items. So my daughter Rose absolutely loves these silver dollar pancakes and I did not pick them up the last time. So I went ahead and got those. This was actually a sample and this is really yummy with a scrambled eggs for breakfast. The roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I have purchased this before, went ahead and got a bag. I love picking these up for my kiddos because there's four mini pizzas in here and I have four kids. So this is a fast, quick lunch during this school week. I put in their lunch boxes. Um, this is also something else that we have grown to love from Trader Joe's, the mango and sticky rice spring rolls. These are really yummy as a side with the chicken fried rice. So I opted not to get the orange chicken this time. I just got the chicken fried rice, two bags. It's a perfect amount for my family. And then that as a fun side dish. Love the super sweet cut corn. Always get that. And let's talk about, about uh, gnocchi for a minute. Okay, this stuff is amazing i love it it's my absolute favorite not super healthy for you but i figured since i only go to trader joe's once a month i was going to pick it up for myself um even though i do have gnocchi on its own i have a few recipes that i want to try but i just cannot not pick this up this is just my absolute favorite if i could go get one thing at trader joe's and not think about my family just my absolute favorite thing it is this 
But then, you guys, I saw this. I was like, what? Now I love like any kind of grown up type mac and cheese. It's just delicious. So this is not that, this is something completely different. But it is stuffed gnocchi. It is potato gnocchi stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. What? That sounds really good. <laughs> I'm excited to try this. So not only did I get my favorite, but I got this new one as well. Then I got this for my oldest daughter. She loves Japanese style food. This is Japanese style fried rice with edamame, tofu, and I don't know what that is, haijiki? That's probably wrong. There's probably something silent in there, but some sort of seaweed. So I thought she would be interested in trying that. Then she also, I picked this up a the last time or the time before, and she loved it. It's a stacked eggplant Parmesan. So I got it again for her to try, or for her to enjoy. Then I got these hash browns for breakfast for the kiddos. This was also a sample. So typically I get their green plant juice. We really like that. Um, but this one was delicious as a sample, the mango passion fruit. So I went ahead and got that. And then this was $1.99. I love mineral water. This is the sparkling lemon mineral water. So I picked these up for myself. And that is everything from Trader Joe's. Okay, and here is everything from HEB, and it was about $158. I definitely spent a little more than I thought I would this week for groceries, but my oldest daughter Paige came with as well, and she picked, she kind of like picked up her own grocery haul, so she's got quite a few things in here that she wanted on hand for this week as well, since so, she eats a little differently than we do. So I got one bag of scoops, this is going to go on a side with some salsa and queso with a dinner, some Fritos, two packages. Now we don't need, some of this stuff is definitely gonna last more than a week, but I went ahead and picked up doubles of this, the corn and flour blend tortillas. There's 12 in each. This is one thing that my oldest daughter picked up for herself for snacks, the rice cakes lightly salted. Went ahead and stocked up. I only need one can for this week. Ooh, that was about to fall down, but I went ahead and got two more because I do use this quite often and I replace it for water in some recipes. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty on hand. Three cans of the chicken broth, two cans of black beans back there. I feel like this is gonna fall, so I'm gonna set that down. One can of enchilada sauce. Here is the queso that's gonna go as a side with dinner. Um, almost completely out of mayonnaise. Got some Dukes because this was request or suggested as a brand to try. So went ahead and got that. I'm excited, everybody raves about this brand. Some teriyaki sauce, honey barbecue sauce, apple cider vinegar. This is another thing that my oldest daughter picked up. I think she's gonna start putting that in some water and drinking it which I think I might try as well. All right, I got this just to have on hand as a side for dinner on the weekends because I feel like our weekends are just jam-packed and the kids don't eat as well <laughs> as during the week. So they, they definitely like their comfort foods on the weekend. So got the value size of the Velveeta shells and cheese. And then um, my hubby actually picked out the cereal. He got Captain Crunch Berries and Cocoa Puffs to again, just have on hand for a quick breakfast. Got some, this is in every single grocery haul, the Yo Crunch Vanilla Low Fat Yogurt with M&Ms. Got some, again, just quick and easy. Now, this is what I like to do and make for the kids when they take it to lunch or during the weekends for lunch because they don't all necessarily have mac and cheese at the same time. So we got this is for dinner and then this is for in their lunch boxes or on the weekends for lunch when they are all like picking different things. All right, I am in love with the Duke's Shorty sausages. They are so good. They're not too bad as a snack or if you're making like a homemade adult Lunchable. So we kind of stocked up on these. We got the big bag of the original recipe and then the smaller bag of the chorizo and lime. These are really yummy. Another thing my oldest daughter picked up is the ghee clarified butter got that and then you guys so this was on my grocery list that was on my grocery list but then I saw this and I was like yes I'm picking this up just to have on hand it is unicorn shaped mac and cheese what look at that so there's a rainbow a star and a unicorn how cute is that I think I might do something fun with this for like spring 
themed lunches. I'm not sure, but I just thought that was so cute. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes because not sure how long that's going to be around. Got one and a half dozen of eggs. We got a few different recipes and we've been eating more eggs than normal, which is always a good thing. So I went ahead and got a bigger package of that almost forgot this yogurt so i just need some plain old greek yogurt for a recipe so i just got this small one of that uh, this is for my oldest daughter i am not a huge asparagus lover so she was like i'm gonna get a small bag for myself as a side with dinner one night and i was like you go for it girl so she got some asparagus spears then two packages of broccoli this is just something really quick to have on hand for dinners and some mixed vegetables for a recipe all right meats not too much i do have a full freezer of meats but i needed just a couple more things so i got a pack of four chicken breasts some beef broths and then some Jenny, Jimmy Dean regular premium pork sausage. We're going to have biscuits and gravy and I'm making it in the air fryer. So that's going to be fun. All right, we've got some more drinks back here. So half a gallon of whole milk, that is for recipes. Um, our typical one gallon of milk for drinking and cereal. And then we got some almond milk for smoothies and for my oldest daughter. She wanted to try out almond milk instead of regular milk. For cheese, got some finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese, finely shredded Mexican blend, got some guacamole mini cups, and then we got some produce going on. So blackberries, blueberries, oregano, a small head of broccoli, green bell pepper, red bell pepper. So obviously I went to Trader Joe's and picked up some stuff and then made my meal plan. <laughs> And I was like, you know what? I need some more. And my daughter wanted some peppers. So we definitely have plenty of peppers on hand. If we don't use them all, they are really easy to freeze. So got two more bell peppers, a bag of spinach. This is for my oldest daughter as well. She's got something planned with that. A head of lettuce, some snack size apples. The kids have been asking for apples. We haven't purchased them in a while, I feel like. So definitely needed those. Two large tomatoes, two zucchini. I'm going to be cooking these in the air fryer as well, making zucchini sticks. I'm really excited about that. The kiwi is for my oldest daughter as well, so three of those. Two jalapenos for recipes. These peppers are for my oldest daughter, so she got a three-pack yellow, red, and orange. I love spaghetti squash. I wish my younger kids did, but they do not like it. So we have a pasta dish on the menu coming up where I'm going to make them normal spaghetti noodles or some kind of pasta. Um, but I am going to have this for my oldest daughter, myself, and possibly my husband. We'll see because he really likes spaghetti noodles as well or his normal, you know, pasta. So this is so good though in, in place of any kind of noodle dish like spaghetti or any kind of Alfredo, super yummy. This is a huge one. So I'm excited about that because that probably means there's gonna be leftovers. And then of course a watermelon. We love watermelon. And went ahead and got a big pack of water. My husband and I have been going on walks about two miles in our neighborhood every day and we are realizing we need some water bottles. It's just nice to be able to pull one of these out of the fridge. So got those and that is everything for this week. Okay, so this meal plan, and I really just wrote the dinners. I did make a note for myself for two lunches. I'm gonna make these things, trying out my new Ninja Foodie. But these are the dinners for Sunday, March 31st, all the way to Saturday, April 6th. So on here, I've got the egg salad, teriyaki chicken. Those are the two Ninja Foodie recipes I'm going to be trying out. So on Sunday, I wrote eat out or shipwreck. What shipwreck means for my family is basically just a wreck full of food. Whatever we have on hand, whether that is a combination of leftovers or just pulling things out and making something new that I didn't plan just from food that we have on hand, that's kind of what shipwreck means. Everybody could have something different, kind of like a fin for yourself type of thing. It's all encompassed in that word. <laughs> so that's what that means when you see it on my meal plan. All right, we're gonna have Brenner one night. We're gonna have burgers, coleslaw, and potato wedges. We're going to have an enchilada bake. I'm starting to do at least one meal a week that is no meat because my oldest daughter is not a fan of meat. So that is just going to be quinoa, black beans, corn with like a Mexican feel to it. Then we're gonna have good old just sausage. I'm gonna do a spaghetti squash au gratin. I'm really excited to try that out. 
um, and see how it turns out. Hopefully it's delicious. And then with just broccoli on the side, we're gonna have cashew chicken over rice. And then down here I have leftovers, if we have any. I'm pretty good about eating leftovers for lunch, but we do, sometimes we do have quite a bit. So we'll have leftovers or again that shipwreck, just planning from something that we already have on hand. So those are the dinners for this coming week that I have planned. So that's what $300 worth of food in Texas looks like, along with the meal plan that I've created using quite a bit of it, but not all of it. Some of it will definitely go into the month of April and past this coming week. So if you guys like grocery hauls and meal plans and they help you out at all, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscription button. I'm actually, and maybe in the back of my mind, that's why I picked up so much food. <laughs> I am going to do a pantry challenge. I had a few people ask me to do that and I've seen it going around and, and I was like, you know what? I do have a lot of food on hand. I need to do that. So I'm doing that for the month of April and I'm collabing with somebody for the entire month. And that video, the beginning of the series, I'm going to call it, is going to be out on Monday. So hit that bell next to the subscription button if you guys don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. And I hope to see you guys then. Bye.